Hello. Uh, in my most recent video, Runner's High, I included lots of psychedelic visual effects, uh, which I thought might be interesting to teach you how to do. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna go get some sunglasses first. <laughs> Here are the things you're going to need. One, a camera. Preferably a camera that shoots in a higher frame rate so that you can slow it down in post. Two, a computer. And three, a video editing software. I personally use Premiere Pro, but you can use Final Cut, uh, Sony Vegas, pretty much any of the editing softwares that are available. So the first thing you're going to want to do is import your footage into your project. If it was recorded at a high frame rate but then not slowed down in camera, you're going to want to do it manually. To do this in Premiere Pro, you have to right click on your footage, go to speed slash duration, and then choose your speed. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. <laughs> choose your preferred speed. A good way to take full advantage of your slow motion footage is to slow it down in strategic places. So. For example, when the beat kicks in. So to do that, you need to double click on the audio layer to see the full audio spectrum. Then cut your footage where the audio peaks so that you can cut on the beat. And then, and then you just slow down your selected part of your video. Now that we have the editing down, it's time to work on the color. First, change the opacity blending mode of your footage to difference. This is essential to get the color split prism effect. Then get the RGB levels effect from the menu and add it to your footage. Make three different layers of footage with this effect, each with one of the primary colors at 100 and the other two at zero. If you looked at these layers of footage individually, it would look like there was a color gel in front of the lens of the camera. Together, however, they look completely normal. By shifting one layer in position or scale, we can begin to see the prism effect taking place. We'll have to slightly increase the scale of each layer of video in order to avoid getting large chunks of ugly color on the edge of your frame. I think it looks especially cool to shift each layer of footage in time so that you can get color trails in your shot. If you shot in a flat color profile, the next step would be to color correct. However, if you want it to be extra trippy, extra. you can also change your hue over time. To do this, add a hue slash saturation effect from the effect menu onto each layer of footage, add a keyframe in the beginning of your footage, then a keyframe at the end, and change your footage over that period of time. There you have it, extra trippy. Extra This was my first tutorial, but I'll be making more if I stumble upon any other effects that I think you might like. Until then, like and subscribe. Peace.